So then I'm sure at this point now that we're just talking about jumping all over the world here and in and out of the Schengen zone, people are wondering how you finance this lifestyle. Is World School Pop-Up Hub only way that you finance right now, or do you guys still work online jobs also? Okay, well, I'll just back up a minute. We're not financing very much with the World School Pop-Up Hub. We are paying for our time and website, but I try to keep prices really reasonable because I think a lot of people are brand new to this, and it's hard to jump into a longer or more time or price committed sort of hub. So we keep our prices low. I'm offering this as this more of a service for people to come visit us or whatever host is out there. But yes, I am able to cover some of my accommodations, which is really nice. Other than that, we both work online, both my husband and I, and he works with stocks and investments. So he's a little bit tied to New York Stock Exchange hours, which makes our Asia time a little tricky for him because the stock exchange will open at 10.30 p.m. in the evening, but he'll figure it out. And then I'm also an author and a yoga instructor. But at this point, I'm doing more work with the pop-up hub than either of those skill sets. Uh, okay. I mean, like, there's always, there's always work for yoga instructors everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And really, what sets the World School pop-up hub apart from other pop-ups or hubs that are out there? Like, uh, what so, would you say makes it a good fit for families that are looking for that travel experience or that authentic travel experience? So I think what the main thing is we're just offering week-long gatherings, which just allows people to dip their toes in and see like, oh, do I like hanging out with other world schoolers? And again, it's not a big price commitment. It's not a big time commitment. We're super flexible. Um, some of our families, even though we have two to four things planned each day, some families will come and we'll see them once or twice for the whole week. And they have a great time. Like they just wanted to do a few things and there's no judgment. It's just come as you are, do what you like to do. Other people will print out the schedule. They've got highlights and everything else going on. And that's how they want to do it. And that's perfect too. I mean, there's times where I'm like, all right, I'm heading out for the day. I'm going to go home and have a glass of wine and put my feet up. They're like, hey, we're going to the concert. And then the other thing that you have listed here. So I think the flexibility is really a key, like a signature piece of our pop-ups. And then also just budget-wise that we try to keep things really economical. Families are in charge of their own lodging. So yeah, if you want to stay in the five-star resort, go for it. Awesome. Or if you want to be out of town in the little cheaper spot and then take your 20-minute train ride into town so you can get to the center every day, that works too. And all the families do their own meals. Again, some might eat out every meal. My family, we tend to go to the grocery store and grab some cold cuts and cheese or whatever is available in the area we are. Uh, right now we're getting sushi uh, and taking a little picnic in a park. So. I think that flexibility with budget also helps. And the other thing that sets us apart is we do not offer an education program. So many hubs, what you're buying into, you might buy into full service meals or all your accommodation in the community. But typically there is also an educational component and we don't offer that. So there's no drop offs. This is built for families, for families to spend time together, explore together, but also spend time with other families. And it's just so neat to watch the kids connect. And then the parents start hanging out and they're chit-chatting like, oh, you're going to be heading there next. We might be able to do that too. And, you know, I really just want it to be based in a social atmosphere, but then have that little bit of exploration on top of it. And again, not charging an arm and a leg so that it's open for everybody of all budgets. Yeah. But yeah, I just want super casual and fun and like not pretentious in any way that people can just come as they are. Yeah. And there is some stability, which I, I like when I go to one of the hubs, I know that the host will always be at the events that are planned that there's so that there's always going to be some stability to it. So that's what I've always enjoyed is yes, it's planned out. I, this, and I know what I can expect from a day to day, even if I don't go to every single thing that's out there. So that's really cool.